Well, thank you all. We, this is really a wonderful turnout of, uh, of friends and staff and board members, community leaders, uh, the press, uh, and uh, some fund holders, and, and clearly our, uh, our governor has come to uh, help us make this uh, very important announcement. I'm happy to be here today and be joined by Marilyn Hayward, my friend, and also our uh, CEO of our board, uh, board chair, and uh, the governor, Jack Markell. Since 1986, the Community Foundation has been helping people and organizations create and manage charitable funds and distribute grants. Over the years, we've become very good at that, and we've grown very strong with 1,200 funds. Uh, I'm, in my 12 years with the Community Foundation, uh, our assets have grown from 100 million to over $270 million today. Uh, we give away close to $15 million a year and from various funds, including 400,000 a year to 80 different scholarship funds, from 80 different scholarship funds. Uh, we also are the uh, back room and support operation for the Fund for Women, for the Next Generation Board, and for the African American Empowerment Fund. We run three, uh, one in each county, uh, youth philanthropy boards for high school students to learn about giving away money. We give them some funds and they select their charities and they give away funds. They do their uh, site visits and everything else. Uh, it's just a wonderful project that we also do. They're just some of the things that we've been doing and continue to do. But we continue to face challenging issues and great needs in Delaware. And we have the capacity at the Community Foundation, we believe, to do much more. A couple years ago, uh, our board chair at the time, Tom Shopa, took the leadership uh, and, and got the board together to get the staff and get the rest of us organized to take a look at how we can do more in Delaware, why we should be doing more in Delaware. Uh, we've spent the last two years studying the work of the community, other community foundations around the country and talking to community leaders throughout the state about how the DCF can be of greatest service to the people in Delaware. We've heard a consistent message. Many people are working hard to try and make Delaware a better place to live and work. And those efforts could be much more effective if they were better coordinated and aligned toward common goals, toward a shared vision of Delaware for the future. The DCF is stepping up to the challenge today. In the coming months and years, we plan to help the community build that shared vision and develop a statewide civic agenda to make uh, the vision a reality. And now to talk about our path forward, I'm happy to introduce my board chairman, Marilyn Hayward. As Fred said, over the last 18 months, we have talked with leaders of all segments of the community up and down the state. We've done a lot of research about what other successful community foundations are doing. We've talked with external experts. And after all of this research, a lot of conversation, a lot of thought, the board of directors of the Community Foundation has voted unanimously that the DCF will facilitate and coordinate efforts with other community stakeholders to build, as Fred said, a shared vision for Delaware's future and develop a cross-cutting civic agenda to help us realize that vision but to build a truly meaningful and relevant civic agenda that we can all support, we need facts. We need data that objectively identifies the community's greatest needs, free of politics, special interests, or hidden biases. So our first step in this process is to develop a data-driven community profile, which is often known as an indicator project. By the end of 2015, we will launch a publicly accessible online database that anybody, anywhere can have access to of social, economic, cultural, and environmental statistics or indicators to, indi to tell us what's going on in Delaware. We already have in the state a number of database reports on various topics, but I think this is going to be um, the first truly comprehensive community profile that will pull in all of these different aspects of the community that I mentioned. We will be drawing together information and analyses about dozens of issues that affect our quality of life. Also, by the end of 2015, we will produce a report outlining the trends revealed and what this means for Delaware. But a lot of people do reports. Uh, 
So what's the point? And I think it's easy to just focus on a tangible report, but that isn't the point. The point is, what are we going to do with the information? That's what really matters. And we at the Community Foundation intend to put the information to work. With the data and analyses as our guide, we'll take the lead in coordinating a statewide dialogue about our most pressing needs and also about our most promising opportunities. We hope these conversations will result in a civic agenda for Delaware, a framework that looks beneath the symptoms and digs down into the roots of these issues that require our full attention and that also, and will also develop a vision for what the state can become. What is our future? We'll lead the development of collaborative community efforts, working together to create better alignment among organizations and existing initiatives. And we'll encourage new initiatives to support the agenda, all the while monitoring the data on an ongoing basis to evaluate the impact of the efforts. We want to find out and, and tell you what is working and what isn't. Clearly, this is not a short-term, one-shot project, but this is an effort that's ongoing and is going to span many, many years, rather than just weeks and months. This is also an initiative that will require the support and commitment, not only of the DCF board and staff, but also of our entire community. And I have to tell you, we are really excited about our path forward. Um, as we have talked about this and considered our path in board meetings, the excitement is palpable amongst our board members, and I'm happy to see so many of them here today. As we were beginning to do our research and talk to people throughout the state about what was needed to move Delaware forward, as you might imagine, the first person we talked to was Governor Markell. He provided us with welcome encouragement in our, in our process. And as we have developed our strategy, we have been truly gratified by his ongoing support. So I'm particularly delighted uh, that we have Jack joining us today to help us announce this new direction. So Governor Markell, thank you very much for your support, and it's all yours. Thanks, Mary. Well, thank you, and I want to start by um, thanking Marilyn and Fred and everybody associated with the Community Foundation uh, for having the vision to uh, undertake uh, this effort and uh, also for all that you have contributed to our state uh, for as long as you've existed. I mean, I think the Delaware Community Foundation has, in a relatively short period of time, uh, taken on a very important role as a, uh, as a you know, nonpartisan, um, independent, frankly, apolitical uh, organization who can uh, tell the truth and who can uh, bring uh, folks from different backgrounds and different perspectives together uh, to advance our state. And that's what this is really all about. And uh, while we all are entitled to our own opinions, and we certainly have them, uh, we shouldn't be entitled to our own facts. And the fact is, you know, we've got, we're making enormous progress uh, in Delaware across a range of issues. From, you know, we have more people employed than ever before uh, in our state, our graduation rates are up in high school, our dropout rates are down, we've got more people going to college and taking advanced placement classes while still in high school and college uh, classes while still in high school. Lots of really good stuff. But, but you know, this is, we, there are so many issues that affect our state that we've got to be focused on. And the question is, how do we decide which ones, in fact, we're going to focus on? And certainly, you know, as governor over the last uh, six years, I've tried to uh, focus in on the things that I believe are the most important for our state going forward. But I really believe, and I won't be the governor that, you know, especially benefits from this work because this is something that's going to be helping Delaware for decades to come. But I think one of the things that will be so valuable is the fact that this data is being, you know, collected and disseminated by an independent, well-respected group like the Delaware Community Foundation is it's going to make it a lot easier to make sure that we're all focused on not the data that the governor thinks is important or the General Assembly thinks is important or others think is important, but just real data that reflects our community. And sometimes the data that you get back that reflect your community, sometimes it makes you happy and sometimes it doesn't make you happy. And you know what, that's the real world. And I think the only way that we are going to 
uh, advances a state for decades to come and for generations to come is if we've got the courage to sort of, you know, look in that mirror and say, we have, we have work to do. And we all know intuitively that we've got work to do, but I think this, this effort will be particularly helpful in um, bringing, as I said, bringing stakeholders together uh, who may have their own opinions, but who will be at least focused on the same, the same issues. And so I think in that way, this is going to be a particularly valuable uh, public service. Uh, I think it really does reflect uh, not only a, uh, a vision on the part of the leadership of the Community Foundation, but the fact that they've spent probably a good year, maybe more, I think it's probably been at least a year since uh, Marilyn and Fred uh, came to talk to me uh, about this, but you've gone out and you've actually done the research and you found out what works best in other cities and other uh, jurisdictions across the country and how can we bring all of that uh, information to bear in the most positive way here in Delaware. So my main purpose in being here today is to thank you uh, for taking the step and to congratulate the, uh, the DCF board uh, for, for making this happen and certainly to pledge, as long as I'm governor, uh, you know, our, uh, the, the interest of my administration in working closely with you uh, because I think by, by working together we'll have the best shot at, at, at seeing Delaware become all that it can possibly be. So thank you all very much.